Hi, what's up? Welcome to this channel. I'm Chris Mandro, I'm a coach of letters at the Vistas Methodist Indonesia, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you all what speech perception is. But before I start, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you can get the latest video notifications. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. Speech perception definition. Speech perception is the process by which speech is interpreted and speech perception is a process that brings about the sensations generated by sound waves in the auditory system and produces an understanding of linguistic characteristics of the speech. Speech perception involves three processes. There is hearing, speaking, and understanding all the sounds produced. The main purpose of this process is to interpret the signs of speech appearing sequentially one by one, each of which is a distinct entity. There is four process of speech perception. 1. Respond from the sense of hearing. 2. Auditory stage. 3. Phonetic stage. And 4. Phonological stage. Let me explain it one by one. First, respond from the sense of hearing. When someone speaks, the human sense of hearing is able to distinguish one sound characteristic from another, namely in the form of positive or negative sentences. The sense of hearing is able to perceive and understand a series of sounds from their stress, their tone, and how fast and slow the sentence is pronounced. Second, auditory stage. The development of speech perception that starts from various stages starts from the auditory stage, namely when the hearing and brain receive piece by piece of speech from the speaker, which is then responded to in terms of its aquatic features. The sounds of utterance is stored in auditory memory. Third, phonetic stage. The next stage in the development of speech perception is that the sounds is then identified in the mental and mind to be further processed and understood, as well as the surrounding environment, namely regarding the conditions around, being in an emotional situation or in the calm situations, in a busy or lonely state, and how much separated from himself regarding the perceptions he wants to express. Fourth, phonological stage. At this stage, a human mentally has applied the rules to a series of sounds that are heard to determine whether the sounds have followed the existing rules in the individual's language. If according to him they have followed the rules and are in accordance with what he wants, then he will agree with the speech and will not provide any form of resistance or rebuttal. Categorical perception. The perception of distinct categories is when there is a gradual change in a variable along a continuum. Categorical perception is one of the important characteristics of speech perception. It allows us to distinguish between sounds, no matter how varied or similar they may be. For example, we can distinguish between the sounds of B and P. The sounds of these consonants differ by 0 0.06 seconds of voice onset time, VOT, or time between when the lips are released and the vocal cords begin to vibrate. By synthesizing sounds in the middle of the VOT values of B and P, and having listeners determine whether they were B or P, Psycholinguists have been able to study how we perceive sounds. They found that listeners hear two distinct sounds, despite the variation. There was only a small boundary region between the sounds when participants were unsure of what they were listening to. Now, we finally know what speech perception is. And yeah, that's all for me. See you in the next video, but before I go, I want to thank to Dr. Esra Tambalita SFMO as my lecturer, who has guided me for making this video presentation. And once again, don't forget to like, Comment, share, subscribe, and hit the like button so you can get the latest video notifications. See you, bye!